Hi and welcome to Sea Talk. Today we're going to be talking about Christmas and we're going to be talking about gifting with our dear friend Dee Sadani. Um, thank you very much for joining us today um, and thank you very much for some amazing photos that you've you've sent me. Um, could you just give us a bit of background for anybody who doesn't know you? I'm sure everybody who's watching this does but could you give us a bit of background as to who you are and what your story is before I share some of these great photos? Hi, thanks for having me, Kate. Um, so my name is Dee Sidani. I'm a one-stop retailer in Derby with two stores, one in Etwell and one in Matlock, uh, both different types of neighbourhood uh, stores. Uh, prior to that, I was a London retailer for 20 years. Fantastic. Thank you. So, um, yeah, so the great picks... Um, that I've seen so far. I think this is a fantastic offer. You can't actually see the the big poster that's around the background there. So I think what's it three for five pounds? A three for five pounds. Yeah. Yeah, and I didn't even know you could get fries, um, fries as a as a as a gift box. So that that was pretty cool. I was like, I like that one. So we've got the gifting chocolate. Um, we have. Uh, we've got more gifting and um, could you tell us a little bit more about how you've really thought out of the boxes Christmas I think this is a great example of the the Yankee candles yeah so I mean for, with everything that's been going on I'm, I've been trying to think of how do I get the high street into my little 1000 square foot store um, and I work with Yankee Candle on the idea about can I get your product into my store and they don't really deal with the independence. They deal with the DC, a bigger warehouse, and then they'll split it down to the Londises or spas or whichever and one stop. And they and they were sort of saying, well, we don't really do that. And I said, well, look, let's give it a go. Um, so they designed a, a stand for us, uh, gave us a good wholesale price, and allowed me to do a multi-bar on it. So the first couple of days we put it in there and put it on Facebook, uh, we were getting people, wow, that's cheaper than most places we can get it, $9.99 or two for £18. Mm -hmm. um, within the first week, we had 300 odd units um, of each of, of the whole range completely sold out. Um, and yeah, it's been well received and it's not a big footprint, as you can see, so it can be all year round. So they're all the Christmas flavors as well as the standard ones. And then we've got Valentine's coming, et cetera, et cetera. So, no, I think it's gone down really well in both stores. True. So they're, they're selling really well already then? Yeah, we, we th this is my third batch now. So do you feel like people are shopping for Christmas a lot earlier than they would do normally? Yeah, I mean, I was watching a programme last night, you know, um, a competitor of ours was up 400% on gifting already. And this was like wow. in November. So I think if you give people the opportunity to look at it, before Christmas, like we have, mm -hmm. it gets people thinking. And to be honest, at nine ninety nine, and the retail's twelve ninety nine. People have been picking up even before Christmas for their own houses. You know, the ladies, the housewives, they've been picking loads up. I mean, we've got a bloke who comes in every other week now and picks up four. He goes, "My wife loves these," and he picks up four from us every other week. And he's from nine miles away, so it yeah it has gone down quite well. I think it will slow down now because I think people are brought out, but it's fine, we'll keep the stand there and then take it away and bring it back in um in, in January for Valentine's. Well, you never know. There's this it's Black Friday, isn't it? There's it's pay week this week, so hopefully. Yeah. 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 So I've I've have a look. So tell me about are these uh, gift packs. So um, you know, you have to excuse the fact I've been out of convenience for the last three years. So is is this these kind of gift packs like new to convenience or have, have these been selling well for the last couple of years? Now, so in one stop, we've always had them every year. Um, mm -hmm. What will change is like you'd get the GT as you see on the top range there. That would be new to us this year, yeah. Um, the deodorants are, you know, something that we keep all year round uh, during gifting, yeah. Um, they're great little stocking fillers, and for five pounds, you're getting a Bailey's, um, well, six pound, a, a Bailey's cup, a little Bailey's miniature, and some hot chocolate to make, and the ingredients of how to do it. So they all tend to work really well, and then. If you look on that example there, the Thorntons, that's seven pound, we'll have a one week special where that will become five pound. Mm -hmm. So you've got to understand that these ain't high margin products. These ain't the numbers that you'd expect, like 29, 35%. They're never going to be. They're in, the, they're in either the 10% or lower, but they sell. They sell. Mm -hmm. Five pound gifting just is a stocking for the cake. So yeah, I mean, we do. We don't sell millions, 
we do well with them. So when we were talking last week, um, you were telling me about the fragrances that you've brought in store. And I think those those have got better margins, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. So that was another idea outside the box. So the company that we use only supply chemists normally. But I think a lot of these suppliers are now thinking, hold on, where do we go? Convenience is your biggest number. We are our own community. You know, we are a powerful force to be reckoned with. Yeah. Um, and they were. <laughs> yeah, no, we all are. Well, they approached me and they said right what do you think and i was like man well really perfume in the sea store never heard of it never done it he goes go on give it a go and we've done really well and the margins on that are 40 percent plus yeah oh. and they smell exactly if you used to do that pepsi cola blind taste thing yeah you would never ever be able to tell that they're different ever and i did that <laughs> I did that with my staff. Sorry. Hold on. Dog disagrees. <laughs> no, sorry about that. Um, I did that with my staff. I asked them what their favorite perfume was, gave, gave them a spray, and I go there, and they couldn't tell. It is amazing. So, yeah, we've done really well with that. I think we sold, um, I think, up to now about 300 bottles when I last looked at the figures at 40 mm -hmm. margin plus. That's a great number for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Have you got anything different in your store this year that you've not had in previous? So this year, uh, yeah, it's a lot of gifting. Um, and funny enough, this morning, just been out this morning and got more gift packs as well. Um, but then we're buying a lot of single bot, bot, um, purchases of malt whiskies. So where we had the normal Glen Ranji, we, where, you know, we get them. Um, I think today we picked up three different types of Glen Ranges, three different types of Glen Livets. But you know, rather than doing the traditional thing and where this is where retailers get stuck with products, they have to buy a case. Um, I think sometimes working with a wholesaler where you can buy them in singles and you can replenish the stock and then put something different in next week. I mean, that's what we've got to do now. It's like they said, you've got to think outside the box now. Um, and what can you do that the high street are doing, but bring it back into our stores um, to drive and, and create that interest. It's, it's working well. Um, it's the same with Christmas trees. Last week we was doing Christmas trees at 36 and 45. This week we bought Christmas trees and we're doing them at 25 because that's what the market's saying is 25. But let's not forget about the people that, you know, our shoppers that want to pay £45 because they want that bigger, luxurious yeah. Christmas tree. But then we've got to look at our everyday customer that's saying actually 20 and £25 my budget. And then when we look at reefs, you've got to have the artificial reefs. We've had some reefs coming from Turkey today. Um, we've had some bird, um, kind of, like owls and rats and whatever else and they've got the the, uh, the bird nuts on them so it's different oh, stuff like that that we're bringing into the store and you know it's quite right what they says you've got to keep bringing something new in um and if you can make the margin on it it's even better do you know i think that i think the other problem we've got in our sector guys is that suppliers don't know how to get hold of us suppliers yes. I think that's the link here that we're missing, I think. You know, like, Paul, you just described the reef thing. Yeah, I've never seen Christmas trees because I haven't got a supplier that's local and I can trust. Mm -hmm. I think this is a bit where now more than ever, where the, the bigger guys need to start thinking, OK, how do we start talking to the likes of, not individually maybe, but through a group? And I think the other thing that matters with gifting this time around, like the example we saw, £5 for a a Bailey's or six pound. I think the price has got to be small enough that it's not not a big sale. It's a thing. It's an add-on. It's that basket yes. add-on, isn't it? Yeah. Um, yeah. And, and I don't know where I get Christmas trees from for my stores, and I don't know mm -hmm. who to trust. I don't know anything about it. So well, I, I can I can all, I can always send you a, a number over, Dee. But I think this is what we're trying to do with this. Uh, you know, our platform on Sea Talk is. You know, if we all keep sharing our best practice, and you know, we. We're all exchanging and, you know, um, what we're doing, I'm sure, you know, we'll get them suppliers knocking on, on our doors because, you know, it, we we are the ones that are driving the communities, right? Well, we're a force, aren't we? Yeah, we may not buy a million cases, but we'll do a million items as a group, won't we? Yeah? Correct. So yeah. I think you're right, Paul. I think if you can get the network through this channel, which is a great channel, um, you. you know, last week I was watching the one with Michael, um, and, and you know what? You learn something every day. We're, we're old boys, but we learn something every day. I was talking to someone yesterday. I learned so much within a 10 minute conversation that I was thinking, hold on, he's right. I've got this so wrong. Yeah. Okay. So I think if you can build this network up, 
where we can have a list of suppliers, maybe four, mm -hmm. eight, mm -hmm. on this network, you know what? We can be better as a group. Yeah, I mean, that's something, that's food for thought for us. Um, you know, and it's and it's really good that, you know, um, retailers are coming together on this platform and sharing their ideas. I'll give you one example I took away from uh, ads on the Beerwolf. I never did it. I put it in the store. We're doing 18, 20 pints a day now. And that's something extra. And that's that experience that, again, you mentioned earlier, is what's happening on the high street that we're not doing and how can we bring something else in. Um, but I really like what you're doing with the gifting, you know, where you've got, You've got the you've got the standout three for a fiver. You've got the miniatures. It's that added value in that basket, and then you're doing the perfumes. You're doing everything outside of what a normal convenience store would do, and you bring it in, and it's it's working well for you, right? Yeah, and the other one we've started doing is fresh popcorn now, cinema mm -hmm. popcorn. So okay. they supply they, they supply Odeon um, with popcorn. They're closed. So hold on, the dog wants to come. They're, they're closed. So what I've done is I've spoken to the company and they go, we've tried convenience store. It doesn't work. So I said, okay, let's give it a go. I'm doing probably about 28, 30 cups a day of popcorn now. Yeah. Wow. Bringing back what 40% margin on £1.50 on a big popcorn, fresh, sweet popcorn. Yeah. Um, and I'm working with them to try and get the idea out there once we've got enough warmers and everything here, we'll launch that into the UK for our sector because we've got to make the night in, haven't we? Correct. Yeah. Wow. So I was going to say, what's more popular, salted or sweet? It sounds like sweet. Oh, we only do sweet. We don't do two variants. We only do the one. So we're doing a Tango Blast, a small Tango Blast, a popcorn and a bag of sweets for £5. And I'll tell you what, we do tons of it. We do tons of it. Netflix and chill. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I think this is where we as a community, we've talked about this many times. I think if we help each other, be honest with each other, we can be something together. Yeah. Um, yes. Sharing is caring. Sharing is caring. Yes, I totally agree with you, Dave. And I think that's what we've all done. I mean, through for our you know our network of friends that you know we're always out, and you know, fortunately, we haven't been done it this year. But you look at our great panel that we've you know our. our, our our incredible board we've got at the ACS. We're always yeah. bouncing ideas off each other. We're always yeah. learning. Um, and that, that's that's the benefit of what us community retailers do, right? Yeah. And and you know what? We're there for each other. Whether it be good times, bad times, we agree, disagree. We'll banter, we'll argue. But you know, no matter what, if a retailer picks up the phone, we always pick up to each other, don't we? Correct. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. True. You were talking a little bit earlier whilst we were off camera. It'd be great to, to, to cover that again. You were talking about the three different communities, Steve. <laughs> yeah, we have, haven't we? When, we, when, we, when I look at my life um, with the events of everyone that everyone's gone through over the years, there mm -hmm. are three communities. There is our shop community. There's our family community. And most important is our retail community. And do you know something? I think we've all supported each other in different ways, it's irrelevant, but we all supported each other throughout this. You know, even if you just want to get something off your chest, I've had people ring me up and just rant and rave. But you know what? Good, good. Get it out of your system. You know what? You can do it. You can't do that necessarily with your wife at home if you don't work in a business because they don't get the retailing world. It's a different world, isn't it? My, you know, like my partner, she doesn't work in my business at all. So when I'm sitting there moaning about Doritos, she's going, what the hell are you on about? Yeah, but I, could, but I could ring up. I could ring up. You know, Steve Bassett and, and moan him, and he'll go. You know, so we are a community, aren't we? There are then three communities in my heart. Yeah, retail yes. is my community for me. You are my extended family. Yeah. And that's the benefit of us, right? We're always there for each other, and we're always there. Yeah. Doesn't matter, you know, what it is or what we've been through. Um, we, we never, we never do not answer that phone, do we? We're always no. there. Yeah, that's it. That's exactly it. Yeah. And, you know, and we've got loads of different sort of communications, you know, there's lots of WhatsApp forums, there's loads of this and loads of that. So there's always a place to vent, talk, ideas, just to get something off your chest. You know, you, you can do that. I mean, yeah, I go back to when Raj passed away. I didn't answer the phone to anyone. Yeah. Mm. Um, at all. Not because I didn't want to, because I knew they were ringing because of my family, my extended community. My friends, yeah, okay. 
but you need to sometimes do things on your own before you go to them people yeah mm -hmm. and then afterwards everyone supported each other we all supported each other through that yeah and we've also lost so many other friends i've lost a lot of friends in retail that works in transport but you know what i know their wife i know their kids so you know you keep in contact so yeah we are a community kate yeah we really are a community to be reckoned with cool and i think you're the only retailer i've spoken to so far do you know any other retailers who closed during lockdown um but could you tell us a little bit more about about you know the previous lockdown that we went through so um when the first wave came into to, to our community um i sat back and i thought well what matters to me what mattered to me was the people that work with me they are my community they are my extended family so i sat each store manager down and said look you know what we've come to a road now you've got two decisions either you close or you come up with some hours that you're all happy to work but either way whatever you do i will support you and they go well we don't want to close because we want to be here for the community i go okay look i'm asking you to go to your teams and ask them what they want to do and they go they ask me they go look you know what do you want to do i go i want you to close that's my personal opinion that's what i want you to do but you run the store as a team so why don't you collectively decide what you want to do and they came up with the idea and said, okay, well, what we'll, we'll do, D, then we'll do half days. I said, okay, fine, let's go with that then. And if you feel that you want to change that later on down the line, you've got the option, yeah? So we went to half days throughout the whole of lockdown. We didn't open back up until the 1st of June. And I sat back and I thought, um, everyone's making money, everyone's running around, everyone's doing that. But, you know, I sat at home thinking, you know, I made the best decision for my team, for my family, for my community. Worst decision maybe for my pocket. But it's no good if they're not here to share that love with me or I'm not here to share it with them. So, yeah, it was, for me, best decision ever. And I would never, ever, even the second lockdown, I went back to them and said, what do you think this time? They go, no chance, we're staying open. We've got all everything we need. We've got the PPE. We've got the screens. We've got the just. So I said, okay, fine. I'll always let them go back and support them. If they want to do it, I'll support them. They know that I will. Now, not, a lot, a, not, a, lot, not a lot of owners would do that, but I did yeah. that. Yeah, respect. Yeah, yeah. big time. Um, so what are you what are you working on at the moment? So we've, we've, we've uh, established that uh, you've got gift packs, you've got Yankee candles, trying something different, the fragrances and the popcorn. That sounds delicious. Um, so what are you working on so um we're just no. about to, on sunday we're closing the store down in matlock for a refit so that's um closing down and i've got a couple of other things that i'm working on um but more to come on that later I'm not giving away anything yet until it's finished but this will be something to gain um and help retailers gain knowledge about their store through their consumer yeah um but we'll, we'll pick up on that one when when uh when i've done it and finished it yeah and, and Dee, do you want to share um your um is it your retail retail guardian do you want to share that on the platform as well because i think um, what you do there is really good and you know if there's other retailers that are looking to um you know to, to, um, to take that pressure away from their daily uh well checklist this is what you do right yeah, so um, Retail Guardian, <clears throat> thanks for the opportunity on that one. It's a big product, a very good product, but I think there's a bit more to come on Retail Guardian. We're talking to a few big players at the moment. Um, so when I'm ready for that, maybe we can have another session with that. That'll be to a 20 minute session, Paul. That, and Kate, yeah, that's definitely. Good. Yeah. And it's like what you said, you know, we're all, we're all here to learn from each other. And if we can all help each other, that's yeah. what we're about, right? Yeah, Retail Guardian is a very powerful package. We installed it yesterday into 10 budgings yesterday. And yeah. the guy's words yesterday were, I can't believe how great this product's going to make my life. So, yeah, but when I've added the next bit of Retail Guardian in there, which we only launched yesterday uh, to a big company with um, <laughs> 10,000 stores yesterday. Um, wow. I'll wait for the feedback on that. 
and then I'd like to, if 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 the opportunity is, I give you twenty minutes on that one. That'd be good. No, no, definitely. Like I said, you know, I mean, we were talking about today. You know, the the big thing for me that's come out of the interview today is, you know, we are one big retail community. Yeah, definitely. Our customers are our community. Our teams are our community. You know, that's that's a big thing that's come out um, out of today's conversation. Is you know, it's the community, and I think we need to work harder on on, on that buzzword community and where we can help you each other and other retailers that are looking you know i aspire to d how can i get like d and how can what's d doing different that i can do in my store i think this is what we should be doing right yeah totally i and i agree paul i mean i went to a retail the other day's got a premier store 800 square foot struggling i gave him i gave him half my day and i don't know the guy never met him but he yeah. rang me and said look i've heard about you can you help me um He's only half an hour away from me. Jumped in the car and I went. Yeah. Don't want anything for it, but as long as he learns something from it and he can be better today than he was yesterday, happy days. Yeah. Yeah. Really good. Really appreciate that. And it's, uh, you know, I think having you on today, it's a, it's, it's brought a different light. We haven't just talked about products. Yeah. No. Uh, and what we're doing, we've, we've actually talked about that big word, which is community, which is uh, uh, really important. No, totally, totally right, Paul. Totally right, and I think we all, we all, we all sense it. We just don't say it enough. Yeah. Well, yeah. you brought it today. You've amplified that message, D. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, fully respect you for doing that. No, thanks. Great. Thank you. Thank you both. Sorry, I don't know if I disappeared there. I seem to have some technical difficulties, so I had to jump off. So, thank yeah. you so much for your time today, D. And uh, little right. doggy, what's doggy's name? Uh, Milo. Hello, Milo. <laughs> yeah, the best thing in my life. Oh, oh my so dog. I love so the more than your wife and the kids put together. Oh, don't. No, I do. They'll tell you that as well. <laughs> yeah. Right. Oh, it's been, it's been great yeah. having you on. I hope you'll come back and talk to us again sometime. You no, know, but I think Paul and Kate, I think you know that supply bit. Mm -hmm. We're not, are we still live? Yeah. yeah. Okay, that supply bit um, really does matter now. I think now more than ever. So if you can build that into your into the sea talk bit, I think it'd be well welcomed by all of us. Yeah, I think we'll have a look at that, Kate. Right, where we can start. You know, um, we, we've got an, uh, our new platforms going uh, live very soon, and how we can build a directory. Uh, but then I think you know, like you said, the you know, we've all got to help each other, and if we can build that direct directory collectively between all of us, that's yeah. where we we start this yeah. journey. Yeah, totally. And if you are a supplier and you're watching this and you want to join C Talk, it's really, really easy. Just log on to www.c-talk.co.uk. I think the link is happening below on the screen right now. Um, and it's just slash sign in. Um, but even if you just go on the main website, there's a little link at the top of the page that says sign in. And it's almost like a, a LinkedIn for the convenience sector. So you can upload your photo, you can give information about your store, perhaps you know, um, areas of interest that you want uh, supplier help with. So uh, we do have suppliers on there. Um, of course, we have retailers on there. So do sign in and, and um, get mingling. So, uh, yeah, thanks again, guys. Thanks very much. Thanks, Dee. Stay safe and uh, warm regards to the family. And my name. Bye, Bye.